New Search Console Index Coverage Error for Server 500. Server Error 5xx. What does this mean for WordPress? You can still benefit from this video tutorial if you're using different content management systems. Server error basically means the URL Google tries to request, as in the URL that you've submitted within your sitemap, Google can't access it. All you need to do is press on the tab, then you'll have a URL. Yeah, I validated mine as fixed, so I'll show you submitted URL not found for I4 because the options to remedy server errors are the same. So, Search Console will give you example URLs. For server errors, robots or text blocking is not the issue. Instead, go and use Patch as Google. Then the URL in question when you try to request it, if you end up seeing unreachable, if you end up seeing error, and so on, that means Google is having problems with that URL in question. Common sense, right? So how can you remedy that? You should visit the URL on your website, press on F12 on your keyboard, bring up Web Developer Toolbar and press on Network tab. Refresh the page and here analyze the status code for this URL, it's status code 200. So now you know that you can access the URL. That means there is no server errors. Then you can go back to Search Console for server errors if you can access it. At that moment, you can actually validate as fix and let Googlebot to request the page again to see if it can access it at that moment in time. And what if it cannot access it after you validate the fix? Then I'll show you a couple of places for WordPress to triple check things. As I've said, if you're seeing status 200, all should be okay. But if you're not, then double check .hcxs file to see, you know what, did you make some updates here? You can go to WordPress Codex to get the default .hcxs file and use that. I'll show you what a default rule looks like. Just let me highlight everything, copy it before I show you, or else my site will go down. It will be broken. So let's delete all that. At default, this is what you need for most setups. So if you have something else, then you want to make sure, you know what, what are they? Are they causing server errors? Because that could happen. Let's save changes. Where else to look for WordPress? Go into wp-content in your WordPress installation. Go inside themes. Go inside the theme that you're using. Right click, download index.php file, then right click, edit. If index.php file of your themes folder just has this get header function, then pause this video and take a look at what I've highlighted and have that. Make sure you do not modify anything else and then save changes. Because most Ranker fans have been experiencing this issue as well for WordPress themes URL. Because somehow Google is picking up a URL for your themes folder. And for WordPress, if Googlebot tries to request it, it usually throws server errors. Okay, so that's another place to look at index.php within your themes folder. And keep in mind when you're looking at all known pages, 
Google shows historical data here. Your best bet is always check the current sitemaps to see if they are having problems. If not, surely you still should troubleshoot as to, you know what, why is Google having server errors for a URL that existed once upon a time? Perhaps six months ago you had a URL, but now that's deleted and yet Search Console Index coverage shows you server errors. What to do at that scenario? How can you fix that? Should you fix it? Yes, you should fix it. Even if it's a page that no longer exists on your site, even if it's a page that is not in your sitemap. If Google is requesting a URL that doesn't exist, the best approach to fixing that is by using redirection. You can use your web hosting account to add redirection to the page that Googlebot is having problems with. And you know for a fact that URL is no longer on your site and it's deleted. So you're aware of that. If that's the case, best practice is to add 301 redirection. Rank your YouTube channel shows you best practices for 301 redirection. Apart from that, server errors are actually common, especially for WordPress, and it must be fixed. In fact, any errors in index coverage report must be fixed because what Search Console shows us is there is a URL that's in Google's index and yet Google is having problems with that URL. If that's the case, let's imagine this URL. Well, if Google can't index it or is having problems, then it's not going to show this in its results set. Now, most sites like Blogger, Wix, Shopify, and so on, if you're using one of those, then you need to visit the help section of those servers because all of them may require different approaches for fixing server errors. In either case, I've shown you a couple of different methods for WordPress that you should definitely check out to remedy server errors. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.